Welcome everyone. Today we will derive a projection-based reduced Dodo model for the Poisson equation. It will be fun, so please stay tuned. In the previous tutorial, we started from a strong form of the Poisson equation and derived a linear system of equations that comes from the finite element discretization. Now we will introduce the projection-based reduced Dodo model, starting with this linear system of equations. The simplest way of describing the projection-based reduced Dodo model is to start with a solution representation of U as a matrix vector multiplication of some known reduced basis matrix V, an unknown vector U hat. Here here, the solution vector u is considered to be big, representing the finite element discretization of the Poisson problem. The phi is some known tall skinny matrix whose columns consist of basis vectors, and u hat is an unknown vector with small size. This can be rewritten as a summation form that is the linear combination of the basis vector phi sub i with unknown coefficient u sub hat i. Here again, phi sub i is the ith column vector of the reduced basis matrix V. Plugging this solution representation into the linear system of equations, we get A times V times U hat equals F. Note that this is over-determined system where there are more equations than unknowns. In order to solve for U sub hat, we need to close the system. One way of closing the system is to apply Galakin projection by multiplying both sides by V transpose, resulting in V transpose times A times phi times u hat equals phi transpose times f. We can define a sub hat equals phi transpose a times phi and the reduced right hand side vector f of hat equals phi transpose f. Note that these are reduced operators because the size of the reduced matrix and vector are small. Therefore, solving this reduced system of equation will be very fast, which gives u sub hat equals a sub hat inverse times f of hat. How would you find the reduced basis phi? We use the simulation data to demonstrate that. Let's say we need to solve Poisson equation on the star-shaped domain omega and its boundary gamma. The Poisson problem states that the solution u must satisfy diffusion operator acting on u minus f on the star-shaped domain omega. And we set u value 0 on the boundary gamma. And finally, we are going to set the external source function f to be sine kappa times x0 plus x1, where x0 is the first Cartesian coordinate of the spatial domain and x1 is the second Cartesian coordinate of the spatial domain. Here the kappa defines the frequency of the external source and we will use this kappa value as a parameter to build our projection-based reduced to the model. For example, kappa equals 1.0, 1.1 and 1.2 gives these various solutions. We will use this simulation data to build the reduced basis matrix phi. To demonstrate that, let's say the solutions of the Poisson problem with kappa equals 1.0, 1.1, and 1.2 are u1, u2, and u3 respectively. Then we collect them in a column-wise matrix. Then we orthogonalize it to form the reduced basis matrix phi. To orthogonalize it, you can use QR factorization or singular value decomposition, SVD. Now with this reduced basis phi, for example, using SVD, we can predict the solution for Poisson equation with kappa equals 1.15 with a solving time speed up of 7.5 and a relative error of 6.4 times 10 to the negative 4. You can generate these numerical results yourself using Libram. Please note that the description below for the detailed instruction about which command line options are available in Libram to generate these results. Here we are going to make some comparison between typical finite element method and projection-based reduced Dodo model. This will be helpful for you to understand the projection-based reduced Dodo model conceptually. The finite element method basis functions are typically local. For example, let's say we have one dimensional domain represented by a real line from A to B, and 
and it is discretized by several space filling non overlapping subsets, which we call each subset an element. Let's also assume that the true solution function u star is the smooth function represented by the green curve. In general, a typical finite element method takes locally supported basis functions, such as these eight continuous piecewise linear functions. Now, the best way of approximating the solution function u star by linearly combining these basis function is to match the nodal points on the curve by appropriately scaling each basis functions, which gives this piecewise linear curve as a finite element approximate solution function represented by the purple curve. It looks pretty good, right? It is easy to see that if you increase the number of elements, the approximated solution converges to the true solution function. This is known as H refinement, where H stands for the size of the element. However, H refinement does not come for free. As you increase the number of elements, the number of unknowns increases proportionally, which makes the solution process slow. On the other hand, the projection-based reduced Stodo model constructs the global basis. To demonstrate it, here is the same one-dimensional domain and the true solution U star. The projection-based reduced Stodo model considers the whole domain as one element and introduces the globally supported basis that comes from the simulation data. So the projection-based reduced Stodo model tries to find the linear combination of these bases Basis, which best approximates the true solution. Therefore, this can be considered as data-driven P refinement, where P represents the order of the basis. And each basis in the projection-based reduced total model is considered as a high-order basis function. Note that depending on the quality of the reduced basis, we can minimize the number of unknowns tremendously, which allows fast computation with high accuracy. All right, I hope that this tutorial was helpful, please visit the webpage for the Libram below and try to get familiar with the reduced auto model and apply it to your applications. Next time, we will go over the greedy algorithm, which lets you find near optimal sampling points to build a global reduced auto model. All right, see you next time.